particular vent, but kind of not. It's very apparent. In my opinion, the Xbox One S doesn't look that bad. It's certainly very boxy, nothing too original here, but it works. If we take a closer look at the Xbox One S, we'll find the disk drive up front with a physical eject button. No longer is it a capacitive button. There is also a physical on-off Xbox button to the right of the disk drive. Below is a single USB port and a connect button. On the rear, there are a bunch of ports. From left to right, we have a power port, HDMI out to TV port, HDMI in from satellite or cable box, two USB ports, an IR out port, SPDIF port, and Ethernet port. There is no Connect port because Connect is dumb and nobody uses Connect. Except for those who do, who will need to buy a separate adapter for about $40. Starting to sound a lot like Apple. The setup process is very straightforward. You plug in the power cable and connect the console to your TV of choice, which in my case is the Vizio P-Series 4K HDR home theater display, and then you power it on. Some of you may want to connect your Xbox One to a cable box and or Ethernet cable. That's totally up to you. Once that is done, you start by turning on your controller and pressing the A button. Then you connect to your wireless network. For me, that's 12 Grimwald Place. You set your location. For me, that's United States. And then you begin downloading and installing a roughly one gigabyte update. It doesn't take too long since this isn't a terribly big release and the servers aren't too bogged down. It should take around 10 minutes or so. Once it's done downloading and applying the update, you'll need to press the Xbox home button on your controller to wake the system up and it'll say time to update again, but it's actually lying to you. It's just kind of loading. Next comes time to choose your time zone. For me, it's Pacific Standard Time. Then Xbox details two power options while you're not using the console, energy saving mode and instant on mode. Energy saving mode will save power, but it will come at the cost of a slower startup time, while instant on will use more energy, but have a faster startup time.